Welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan. I am a cosmetologist and a lover of theatrics, but I'm also a super heavy duty crafter. I just love crafts and I love keeping myself busy. So last year it was kind of a thing to customize your Crocs and I was like, well, I can do that too. <laughs> I love my Crocs. I have a pair that I've pretty much worn to death. I'll show you. I know they're pretty bad, but they're also like eight years old. So, you know, it's understandable. <laughs> so I decided I'm not gonna be left out of this trend. I'm gonna customize my Crocs too. And I decided to bedazzle mine. But I didn't want to just have them be bling and that's it. I wanted to add some drips. So if you guys want to see how I did it, please continue watching. Here's the stuff I used. A buffer, acetone, pencil that didn't work, black acrylic pen, rhinestones in a few different colors and sizes, Odd Podge, E6000 glue, rhinestone trays, rhinestone grabber and tweezers, some printed drips on paper, sponge, black acrylic paint, and of course, my Crocs. To get us started, I'm gonna do my best to buff these bad boys out so that the acrylic paint and the glue has something to stick to since these shoes are made out of rubber. Once I'm done scratching it up, I'm gonna go ahead and take some acetone and wipe all the residue off. I found these lovely drips on Google Images and I put them on top of cardboard and now I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife to cut around the drips so that I can use this as a stencil to trace on my Crocs. Now being as careful as I can be, I'm going to go ahead and try and peel these drips up off of the paper without ripping around it. Please excuse the electric tape, but nothing sticks to Crocs, so that's what I use to tape off the areas that I don't want painted. Then I took my beautiful Google Drips and I'm now placing them on my shoes so I can tape them down in the position that I want. Now I'm going to take a small dab of that black acrylic paint and that small sponge, very small amount. I don't wanna to get too much product on this sponge because I just wanna create like a stamp and I really don't want any of the paint to get underneath the paper. Cause I don't care as long as you're there, as long as you're there. Once I'm done with that, I don't even want to give this paint a chance to dry before ripping off that paper because I don't want it to stick to the shoe. Now that I can see my drippy shape, I'm just going to go ahead and take my black acrylic pen and outline it and make it look a lot better as well as fill in the drips. If I were to do this again, I'd probably just go in with a Sharpie because I think the Sharpie would probably stick to the shoe a little bit better than the acrylic paint will. Over time, I'm quite sure it will wear off and crack. If I still try, cause I don't care as 
long as you're there As long as you're there After outlining, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in everything with that black acrylic paint pen. Do you want to get close? Do you want to get close? Baby, we can do this all night. Keep on second guessing that love, oh no. I don't really care if you don't mind. in I'm gonna go ahead in with my Mod Podge and I'm going to try and seal the black acrylic paint as best I can. Hold tight. Hold tight. Now the fun begins. Time for the rhinestones. I'm gonna start off with the black color. Taking my E6000 glue, I'm gonna go around the drips. I only go a small section at a time because the glue dries quickly. Now I'm gonna pick up the best tool that was ever invented. Seriously, this rhinestone grabber makes this process so much easier. And I'm gonna pick up all the rhinestones and go around the drips before filling it in. Once the outline is completed, I'm going to go ahead and go around the band and start there before filling in the drips themselves. I was determined to make this small pack of black rhinestones from Amazon work for me, so I actually used the large rhinestones around the band and used the smaller ones throughout the rest of the drips. Now I'm ready to just go ahead and start filling in the rest of the design area. There were a couple times when I placed a rhinestone down and it didn't quite go in the area that I wanted it to. So it's really easy to fix that mistake by taking your tweezers and just adjusting the position.
looking cute. I could stop here, but I'm extra, so I'm gonna keep going. So now I'm gonna go ahead in with my clear rhinestones and trace around the drips and around the shoe and around the holes so that I can fill in everything when it's done. Now that I've completed all my outlines in the clear crystals, I'm going to go ahead and start to fill in the shoe. Look at these bedazzled babies. Now that it's pretty much finished, I'm just going in and finding any little holes that I see and filling them in with different sized, smaller rhinestones. Ladies and gentlemen, she's ready to make her final reveal. I'm so excited with how these turned out. If you guys like this video and want to see more crafting in the future, please let me know in the comments down before. I love crafting, but I want to give you guys content that you want to see, so let me know if it's something that you're into. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I truly appreciate it. Also, to the new subs, thank you so much for subscribing. I really love the support. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. I upload videos weekly, and I'd love to see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching.